what would you say if you had all the data available that accrues around your production at the touch of a button? And I really mean all data. It can be information from the manufacturing process, but also from logistics or from your suppliers and customers. And even environmental conditions such as temperature and humidity. What would you say if you would not have to gather this information from various sources of information with a lot of effort? Then you would always have complete transparency about what's happening in your factory. You could perform analysis tailored to your needs and optimize your production after that. You would always know exactly which way your products and materials are taking. You could easily and quickly track bugs and fix their cause effectively. The digital production file is your solution for this and it is available at the touch of a button. Let me explain you what it is all about. The basis for the digital production file and the use of all its advantages is as much data and information as possible from a variety of sources. This data may come from PLC controllers, sensors in the factory, logistics activities, or even from suppliers. The use of this data is almost limitless and depends only on your needs and objectives. I would like to show you how this works and what huge potential lies in the digital production file. Let's start with the delivery of materials. Defective components jeopardize the production process, quality and delivery capability. Often they are not noticed at the inspection of incoming goods. They may then only be discovered at the final check of the produced item. Production stops and lengthy troubleshooting are the result. By analyzing the data on the basis of the digital production file, it is possible to immediately understand which parts have been booked into the warehouse and also which, with which delivery they came in and therefore must be blocked. The unaffected parts can be released. The production can resume after a short time. Downtimes and bottlenecks in the delivery are effectively reduced or completely avoided. Let me give you a second use case. The production plant itself provides countless sensor measurement and test data. That's for example, electrical parameters, mechanical values for dimensional accuracy, but also influencing factors such as temperature, vibration in machines. We want to link this data to our workpieces. Industrial identification is used so that this data can be assigned to the correct item. You may use RFID or optical readers, whatever fits better. In the cloud, the data is then connected to the workpiece and is available in real time at the touch of a button. We have just created the digital production file in manufacturing. So what do we do with it? It's quite individual. For example, later test steps can be omitted because the data is already available from earlier production steps. This may shorten the production time. The opposite may also be the case. For example, when you find that excessive vibration in a certain machine requires additional testing of the products. This may lengthen your production time, but ensure the quality that your customers expect. However, it becomes even more interesting when 
additional information is included. Data on product returns, supplier information and more. Previously, unknown correlations are possible with big data or artificial intelligence. The system may even provide predictions that go beyond the mere measurement of tolerances. If we then return the result to our production line, we are closing the quality circle. A questionable workpiece could be ejected before it travels all the way to the final inspection. The digital production file is therefore not a one-way street when it comes to advantages such as cycle times, cost and product quality. But what if it turns out after delivery of goods that a production or test step was faulty? The digital production file can then be used to determine exactly where and when the error happened. Affected items can be precisely identified by the unique product ID. Together with the logistics data, it is possible to determine which customer has received which product. This enables a very focused recall with the lowest possible reputational damage and replacement cost. As you can see from the examples, it is crucial that every source of information is used to feed the digital production file. That's because every piece of information generates added value. The digital production file can provide information when seemingly random fluctuations occur in the production process. It can offer potential for optimization. It offers an approach for detecting sporadic errors. Now that we know why we want the digital production file, let's see how we get it. Looking at the overall picture of possible data sources, one might at first be overwhelmed by the complexity. However, there is no reason for this concern. The digital production file can be introduced in small steps and, that's really important, it is scalable. You decide what you add next. A good start is the production plant itself. There are two important aspects. The identification of the goods produced and the automation system of your machines. The digital production file requires all the data relating to the manufactured goods. RFID and optical identification systems are key components for the identification of these goods. Together with the data from the automation system, in this case the S7500 PLC, the basic data set is created. So the first step is taken as soon as this set has been transported to a cloud platform via an industrial IoT gateway, for example. Valuable conclusions can already be drawn with this data. Transparency in the factory is the important keyword here. Production time, downtimes, utilization of the plant, important information that helps to measure productivity and, even more important, to find a starting point for improvements. Now the first step is successfully implemented. The next step is to enrich the data set with additional data that may be present in your factory and especially in your automation system. This includes values from sensors such as force, temperature, pressure or humidity. Modern power supplies are capable of delivering real-time values of voltage and current over Profinet. This information can be used to carry out analysis of the quality 
and condition of the production plant. You get insight in the energy efficiency of your machines. Even more interesting is the linking of sensor data and product data. This allows correlations to be derived from the condition of the plant with the manufactured product. This opens up a new dimension in terms of quality assurance and predictive maintenance. For the greatest possible degree of documentation and transparency, it is often necessary to combine goods and locations with high precision. Think of critical processes in production, such as keeping certain tightening torques of components. With a real-time locating system, short RTLS, it is possible to locate within inches. A data set is created that contains the torque, at what time it was applied, to which product and at which location. This data is then available in the digital production file for quality assurance, audits, tracing and much more. If the production is covered so far, the next step is to include logistics data. The identification of parts from subcontractors is increasingly done with a unique code, for example, with an RFID smart label. These RFID transponders can be read out even in large quantities. You capture dozens of goods within a second using a reading gate with RFID readers and antennas. This way you can find out when which goods were received at which location. In the further course, the transponders can then be detected in the warehouse during intralogistics movements and finally at the installation site. The history of the components moves into the digital production file, which makes its path traceable and therefore transparent. The basis of all this is that all your data is available in the cloud. This way, it can be used flexibly and, if you wish, all across your sites, all over the world. The secret of the successful digital production file lies in the clever merging, linking, evaluation and analysis of your data in applications. This is where your added value is generated. This is where the new information is created, which can only arise from the combination of different data sources. With the right cloud platform, you are flexible in how you use the data. There could be smartphone apps that inform your maintenance staff immediately if something isn't behaving normally. There could be dashboards on tablets or large screens in the production. They reflect the condition of the system at a glance. Or you may search about the status of a specific product. There could be web-based apps that display statistics on delivery reliability, lead times, utilization, energy consumption. As you can see, there are countless ways to bring information and data into the digital production file. Of course, the recipe for the perfect production file doesn't exist. It depends on your production and your needs, what you start with and how you optimize your individual solution over time. Complexity and volatility present you with ever greater challenges. The digital production file enables you to cope with them. 
the digital production file is the basis for the sustainable competitiveness of your company.